I got so many amazing toys this year. I have my favorite toys of 2016 as well as 2017. So in the same vein, these are some of my favorites that I got this year. Not necessarily made this year, but toys that I got my hands on. And boy oh boy was it hard picking just 10. Bandai of America and Saban Brands really gave me the perfect version of Psycho Ranger Red. And I'm still disappointed that pink and yellow aren't coming out, but red being my favorite Psycho Ranger, it's just good to finally have it. Though some Rebel Tech toys aren't perfect in articulation, this classic looking Asuka Soryu from Neon Genesis Evangelion really is one of those perfect toys because it is comic accurate. So having her is a great addition to the collection. SH Figureworks doesn't fuck around when they make their toys. And not only is Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta one of my favorite toys, but it's also one of the most fun to play with. The fact that I can change his face and it has great movement in the shoulders really means a lot to me. Wonderful. I've been eyeing a good Naruto toy for a while now, and this Sanin mode made by SH Figuarts is just perfect. Not just from the fact that you can take off his robe and make him look classic Naruto style. It's just fun and a great toy to have. I spent such a long time looking for this Walmart exclusive Thanos that this Marvel Legends is everything I want in a toy. It's heavy, it's sturdy, good comic representation, and the metallic paint and comic villain grin makes it perfect. Ultimate Gohan cost a pretty penny, but it was definitely worth it. He came with many different faces, and I love this grin, as well as a power key blast that just looks really, really awesome. Having him as part of my Dragon Ball Super Collection is just, it just feels right. The white spider suit in the new video game looks so good that the fact that Marvel Legends made it into an actual action figure speaks volumes for what it can be. I love it because it looks clean and he looks great. And the articulation is solid. This specific Goku toy came out this year and I waited to get this one because this is the likeness of Goku that I want. Standard hair shit eating grin, this is the character that I love and all of his form. And SH Figuarts outdid themselves. Lord Draken is special because not only is he a rare toy that was an exclusive, not only is the paint good and it looks great and it's a cool ass character, but the joints move perfectly and he's fun to play with. I mean, I could have kept him in the box though. And then the toy that I've had the most fun with this year, spent the most money on and means the most to me, has to be my Figma Deku toy that cost me a pretty penny, but not only that, it's, it's just a good toy, one of my favorite characters and having him feels so good. Overall, this year had a lot of fun, fantastic toys that I did the most with. I wish I could incorporate more, but then this video would be like four hours long. Overall, enjoy the things that you like, keep purchasing the things that you like, and I hope that 2019 has some even greater toys.